So uh, here's the algorithm here. I actually wrote it down. So I had to put a grid there so I could actually follow it because it was kind of getting jumbled up. Uh, so we have L, R2, B, L prime, R, U2, F2, L, B, D, U2, B, L prime, R2, B2, L prime, D2, U, L prime, B2, U2, R2, B, D2. Long algorithm, 25 steps long, uh, but this, this algorithm, if applied to any scrambled cube uh, on any, um, any axis or any orientation, it will turn the cube back into its solved state. So, let's give it a try. So I've got a, got a um, cube here. I'm just going to give it a scramble because I, I don't have a uh, scrambler here right now. And um, I think that should be good enough. All right, so let's just give this a try and see where it ends up. Okay, so let's try the algorithm. So let's do L, R2, B, L prime, R, U2, F2, L, B, D, U2, B, L prime, R2, B2, L prime, D2, U, L prime, B2, U2, R2, B, D2. And there you have it, back into its solved state. Uh, which I think is rather interesting. I, I've been messing around with this all night, and uh, I was uh, pretty surprised to see that it actually works. Uh, that's actually a very rare case where you get right to the end of the algorithm. Usually it will pass through its solved state at any given point uh, uh, on this al algorithm. So you could probably get like uh, nine or 10 steps in. Uh, usually it's around 14, 15 that the puzzle will be solved. Just to prove that uh, this works, I'm going to do it again. So let's just do another scramble here. Uh, you can try this at home. You can try this home right now. If you have a uh, Rubik's Cube, then uh, uh, you can give this a try yourself. If it's already scrambled, then you can keep, follow along with me and give this a try. Uh, so let's just do a load of scrambling here. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So let's give this another try. So L... R2, B, L prime, R, U2, F2, L, B, D, U2, B, L prime, R2. And uh, it's already passed through its solved state, so you can see I've got B2, L prime, D2, U, and, and the rest of the algorithm still to go. So, so that is the nature of the algorithm. It's not like any other algorithm where it will cycle the pieces. Uh, the cube will pass through its solved state uh, along this algorithm. Now, this uh, they have some statistics with them. I haven't been able to find them. Uh, but basically, if you get to the end of the algorithm and uh, the puzzle hasn't been solved, then all you had to do is go full circle and just continue with the algorithm from L uh, all the way through. Uh, and usually by the second time, sometimes it uh, happens, uh, you'll have to go through it a third time. But basically, if you just continue following this sequence, the cube will pass through its solved state uh, whilst performing this algorithm.